hell is this? What? There's more now, of you? Never oh, seen nobody cut you're already like here. That before. Could have told me you weren't a door person. Get out of my clinic right now, via the door. Where's the Evelyn Parker? Shit. I know she wound up here at your clinic. Evelyn. Evelyn. Hmm. Think real hard now. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Upper eyelid retractor on that faceplate's busted. She won't be able to close her eye completely. You think I don't know that? Sadly, this is the second-hand schlock I'm forced to make do with. Third-hand and fourth-hand, too, by the look of things. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Tell me where Evelyn Parker is. Yes? But I have a procedure I must finish. May I? Fine, I'll wait. I need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Bear with me just one more second. There. How's it feel? <laughs> fine, I guess. Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. You tiger claws. As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mock. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people... I'll be more than glad to show you around. But, um, uh, later, perhaps. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but... If only I knew who you were talking about. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this... creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill... The shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. 
Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Temper's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. Prettier, too. I'd let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me. I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix her fingers mentioned. Thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play a detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van.
Hello. You wanted to talk? How's things, Waco? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? What? Never. In that case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Looking for a brain dance. Oh. Any particular one? Logo on the casing? A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Can you get me one of those recordings? Listen, I've seen what you can do. You've earned my respect, and I want you earning more of my eddies. So here's what's going to happen. I'll get you what you want. Just look out for a package. Thanks, Waco. Where'll the pickup be? I'll have my guy drop it off in a secure location. Sending you the coordinates now. My client wants something. You need to get it for me. I'll ask one last time. Oh, so I don't have to. One smart choice. You look delicious. Come here and let me have a lick. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something that needs. 